What's up, YouTube? Uh, I'm out here with my boy William. I'm out here so, with my boy Duke. We're gonna be starting a new series on the channel called uh, Can Hunting or something. I don't know what I'm gonna call it yet. Um, but basically, we're heading out right now to our very first recorded uh, can walk. So we've been doing these for a little bit, you know, as a way to get exercise, as a way to hang out, and a way to clean up the earth, you know. So William, how about you uh, tell them where we're going, what we're gonna be doing? Oh, I just missed the turn. That's okay though, because we have plenty of time to talk. Uh, so we're, we're, we're heading down a river road here in Louisville, uh, just, just, you know, cruising around, trying to find a place to stop to get out and look for some more cans. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we've already seen a couple of cans, some, some candidates, if you candidates. will. Candidates. Uh, on the way, but haven't stopped yet. We're looking for a, a better place. Right now, this area we're in is a little bit, you know, residential. It's too residential. The speed mm -hmm. is too high. Not enough place to, to run if a car were to come careening towards you. Exactly. But, uh, Exactly. So we've done uh, three walks so far. I'm going to put the numbers right here. Uh, as you can see, we typically get about X number of cans per mile. I don't know. It, it actually varies pretty wildly depending on where we go. Um, right now, I'm going to flash up the uh, route that we end up doing today. And uh, at the end, we'll see how many cans we get. Duke, you got anything you want to say? No. <laughs> all right. Well, I'll see you all in a minute. All right, Duke, what'd you just find right here? like the top of the Arizona can. That's a good one. Yeah. That's a good one. Duke, what'd you find? So oh! Find a that's, a that's a nice one. Good. Do a 360. Pretty fresh. That, that is fresh. fresh. Is, is it empty? Yep. Yeah. All right, let's put it in. Hey, I think I, I think I see something up here. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's a little dirty. Put that in the bag. What is right this? There. That's one of those yellow edition Red Bulls. Oh, uh, we might need to clean this one a little bit, but pretty good. What is that? Oh, that is a good one. William's got something too. Probably not a can, but could be something. It's not aluminum either. I can tell by the uh, ductility. This is a good one though. Classic Coca-Cola. It's in good shape too. <laughs> it's relatively modern. So William, man, we're out here right now, you know, looking yeah. for some cans. This is something that you and I have been doing for, oh, I don't know, 10. I've been part of the community for 15 plus years. 15 plus years, I mean, you oh, and I. Hold on, Bear. Oh. See, that one, something that, you know, it takes a seasoned eye to see something like that. Yeah, might need to clean it a little bit. You almost missed the. Yeah, that's definitely part of the same team. can, if I were to hazard a guess. But, uh, you know, we, we've been doing this for, I don't know, 10 days together, 15, 20 days together so far. And, um, we've made some good progress. We have made some good progress. I mean, what, what do you enjoy about the community? Like, what, 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 what makes you like doing this? What I really like is how willing everyone is to share their secrets. Mm. You know, mm. I've never felt like I've, I've never felt like I've been alone in this community. Right. There's always somebody that I can rely on. Like this right here, this gentleman over here. Duke, he joined us recently. Duke, this is your second can walk with us. Do you, do you enjoy it? Do you? I love it. Awesome. Awesome. He brings a unique set of skills to the table, and I think we really benefit as a team. Well, good. From having him. But... Let's keep looking. Yep. What y'all got? Good album. There we go. See, that's something. A lot of the time, people don't understand how much you got to really dig. And, and look for stuff. What what is that? What and it's of, complete too. That's a, it's a spearing off ice. That's a pretty rare one. That's a rare one. Oh, uh, never mind. Tin foil. Tin foil. Similar, similar to aluminum, but not quite what we're looking for. We got a good one right here. That's another classic Coke. What year is that? Soon. I don't know, 2012, 13 maybe. Where we got? Not that old. It could be that. 2021. Old. Yeah. That's not bad. All right, guys, we just saw that across the road there appears to be a can. We're going to probably head up a little bit more and then, uh, what do you think, probably loop yeah, we'll loop back loop around at some point. I, I don't know if, I mean, oh, maybe at the, oh, Duke has found some stuff. Duke's what we call the auditor. He kind of heads up the back. He usually finds the stuff we missed, but I don't know. We might head up past the gas station and then come back. What is that? We might have just had a live. That is a can. Let's check it out. Let's see what we got. 
Natty Ice Can. There we go. What a feeling. That's a good one too. That's pretty good condition. That's, That's a large one call. too. The big one. Oh, yeah, let's that put that in. Has a straw 14 in it. or 15 grams. It's of got a minimum. straw in it. Wait a sec. Oh, we gotta get that out. Sorry, I couldn't get it out. Oh, there you go. You got, right, you got, you got it. Oh. Shot out on the ground. There we go. Little, not a big one. Guys, we're just moving down the street here. What is that? Oh, that's a bag. That's oh, a bag. You gotta watch out for stuff like Uncrustables bags, Capri Suns. You're just gonna waste your time Pepsi walking can. over to it. Pepsi can. Yeah, it looks like right here we got a. Looks like we may have a Pepsi can. <laughs> All right, guys, this is one of the dangers of can collecting. As you can see, we just fell into some sludge here. So we're going to have to make our way out and then make our way over to the can. I think it's raw sewage. All right, guys, we made our way out of the sludge. Duke's going to do his best to grab that can. Again, like I said, there's there are dangers associated with this. You know, some some people think that it's a, a walk in the park to do this stuff. But, I mean, you got to be prepared to get a little dirty, you know. So hopefully this uh, mud comes out. Hopefully it dries pretty quickly. Get it out of these shoes. That one's still got liquid in it. That's something you got to look out for is liquid. That's a little golf ball. Golf ball. Surprise, what you got there? Oh, this one has a little bit of liquid inside of it. Okay. Dump that out. Oh, that's not that's not peach Red Bull. That's not a Red Bull? No, no, the liquid might be water. Probably some rainwater that collected slowly. But yeah, we got peach Red Bull. Look at a good yeah. one. Look at that. That's a yeah, rare one. Really. I've never seen one like this before. Red Bulls in general, we find, we tend to find, but not anything like that. That's an exclusive. So we just got to this fork in the road. We can either go straight and then loop, or we can turn right. What are y'all thinking? Something's telling me we gotta loop back. Gotta do what? We gotta loop back. Loop back yeah, already? We had one can verified down there, one confirmed sighting. We did. So when we loop back, do we want to stop where we started, or do we want to? At that point, it'd be another fork in the road down there, right? It would. All right, guys, so we looped across the side of the road. Um, areas like this typically are pretty good uh, because cans, they have a real high buoyancy. They tend to float on water. So anywhere the water is going to settle, you're very likely to find cans. It looks like today we might have not, not exactly gotten lucky. But in general, you know, if you're just looking for some tips, this is usually a pretty good spot. Um, just cross over here and... Yeah, we can confirm. These are stopped up anyway, so probably not going to be any cans in this this immediate area. Oh, something might have moved in a little bit. A little in. What is that? Oh, that's a water bottle. Ah, uh, or some kind of water. a siren. A siren of some sort. That's a rookie mistake. Sorry about that. Well, that, that. that's one of the things about the community, you know. Wait. Another rookie mistake. Don't record oh. that. What is that? Oh, that's the one we found earlier. There we go. See, that's the thing. You can't divert all your attention to the, the false the siren. The falsities. 200 milligrams of caffeine. Not really that simple. Now, I know while we were driving through here, I know we saw two or three cans. I, I see one right up here in front of us. Yeah. I'd say this was probably dropped by the same person that dropped that last one. This is the same it was definitely a habit. It type of drink. drink. Yeah. Celsius. Celsius been popular today. So, Baron, what do you plan on doing with the proceeds from this pan? Uh, I'm honestly not sure, you know, I mean, I know we've been doing it for a little bit. We don't really have any set goal in mind, though. Comment down below what you all think we should do with the, the money from the cans. I'm personally thinking, you know, maybe some sort of donation to some cleanup fund, perhaps, but I don't know. We'll have to see if we even have enough at the end. This might be one up here. Cigarettes. You think? Oh, yeah, it is. That's cigarettes. That's Marlboro. What what would you do with the proceeds? I don't know. I'd, I'd really like to put it away, like a rainy day fund or something, mm. you know? Maybe All for right. when I send my kids to college one day. Yeah. I have a little bit of money set aside. What is that? That's a, uh, alcohol. There's a lot of liquor drinkers around here. Not so much beer. 
Anything down there? No. Mole people. Mole people. No, mole people. What do we got right here? Another old school coke. It's got a lot of dirt on it. Like too much. We don't want them to, to think that we're scamming them when we take these to the cycle, you know? Exactly. I think it's that's as good as it's probably gonna get. We do clean these a little bit more whenever we get back to the the HQ. Nice. Check this out guys, we just found this. River Metals Recycling. That That's might be a sign funny. right there. That might be where we, we need to take. We to figure out where we're gonna go. We might have to go to River Metals Recycling. We also found a couple of uh, Coke. Coke like, crates? Coke crates. We're debating keeping these. Maybe, maybe where, not. Where those are, there's likely to be cans for Exactly, so. Oh, oh, and Duke just found a can up here. Let's go check that out. Modelo. Oh, exotic. Usually, in these really like messed up areas, you're gonna find a. Co I mean, that might be one right there. Actually, let's take a look. No, that's a Frito Lay. But either way, spots like this on the side of the road, you're bound to find something. All right, guys, we just found another really overgrown area. Let's see if we can't find a couple cans in here looks like there's some little shredded can some car, uh, foam or something McDonald's unfortunately not a whole lot in the can department there's like a we got some glass though uh oh oh look at that Remy Martin. I told y'all. Oh man, what is what? this? Dude, what is that's this? A, hold on, that's everybody, a, hold on. First ever cash. We've right. just found a can cache. Right here, we got Coors, we got Neutral, we got Sprite, and we got Bacardi. What? I Three didn't... alcohols, one Sprite, probably a mixer with the Remy Martin. Yeah. This tells a story. This tells a story. story. I've never seen something like this before. This is. They're almost like they're fused together, too. This will need to be cleaned a little bit, but. We can take a closer look at it later. This is insane. I didn't even know something like that existed. Yep. We're about back to the car. Not seeing too much, unfortunately. It's like. A little bit. Hey, William, I got a piece of a coke. I got an I beam, man. What on earth? It's probably one of the first I beams. I doubt it. How you know it's not an H beam? That's the real question. <laughs> Looks like we got maybe one more rough zone up here, and then what is that? Oh, that's that's not anything. It's not anything. <laughs> What is what? That's a monster. That is. That but is do you want to do you want to try to get in there? Oh, I don't know, man. That could be dangerous. I've heard bad things about monster energy. You, you know, with Mark of the Beast and whatnot. Right. I've heard of that as well. I right. think we can keep it though. Okay. All right, guys. We were just about to get back in the car. We got one more. One more can. Okay. Don't know what the total is yet. I mean, we we had some awesome finds today. We might keep going, but you all find out here in a second. All right, guys, Duke just started walking. I, I guess he sees, oh, he found more. Wow. This is why we call him the auditor. He is the auditor for a reason. He just found three over there, two or three. That might be a company record. That, that's actually, I mean, we were just gonna give up. That's pretty impressive that he just did that. All right, YouTube, we just got back. Here's our can collection. I did have to take my shoes off because they were covered in mud. William took his off too, but he put on new shoes. It looks like we got one, two, three. Well, I'll tell you the count at the end. We'll get these crushed real quick. 
All right, guys, after crushing and counting, we believe we got a total of about 28. Obviously, the big find of the day was the, uh, the combined four can. I mean, this is really impressive. I've never seen anything like this. Overall, guys, I mean, how, how would you all rate this collection? I would say this was a very good haul. I mean, we not only got the quad can, we got what, one, two, three, four, or five big cans, which you just don't really find these days. Right. Uh, but yeah, guys, overall pretty good score so far. And uh, if you all like this series, leave a comment down below, leave a like, and uh, I'll keep making them. See y'all next time. Represent.